YouTubers and welcome to the Rodney1279 channel on this May 2nd, 2014. And we're going to do our Bible readings for today. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for allowing us to get into this word on today. Give me the strength to hear your will on today. Give me the guidance to live by your will on a daily basis. Now, Father God, as we get ready to go through this word, let us hear your word and let us have guidance in your word. We ask for forgiveness of our, of our sins and of our shortcomings. And we ask this now, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, today's scriptures we're going to be reading. We're going to read 2 Samuel, the 24th chapter. And we're going to read 1 Chronicles, the 21st chapter, verse 1, through the 22nd chapter, verse 19. Not in exactly that order, because it's going to be, we're going to be flipping back and forth in the Bible, okay? Okay, now um, the first um, scripture is going to be in 2 Samuel, the 24th chapter, verses 1 through 9. 2 Samuel, the 24th chapter, verses 1 through 9. David takes the census. Here's the reading of God's holy word. Again, the anger of the Lord was aroused against Israel. And he moved David against them to say, Go, number Israel and Judah. So the king said to Joab, the commander of the army who was with him, Now go throughout all the tribes of Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, and count the people, that I may know the number of the people. And Joab, and Joab said to the king, Now, now may the Lord, may the Lord your God add to the people a hundred times more than there are. And may the eyes of my Lord the king see it. But why does my Lord the king desire this thing? Nevertheless, the king's word prevailed against Joab, against the captains of the army. Therefore, Joab and the captains of the army went out from the presence of the king to count the people of Israel. And they crossed, and they crossed over the Jordan and camped in area on the right side of the town, which is in the midst of the raving of Gad and toward Jazer. Then they came to Gilead and to the, and to the land of Tatum Hatshi. They came, they came to Dan, Dan John, and around to Sidon. And they came, and they came to the stronghold of Tyre, and to all, and to all the cities, and to all the cities of the Hivites, and the Canaanites, and the Canaanites. Then they went out. Then they went out to South Judah, as far as Beersheba. So when, so when they had gone, so when they had gone through all the land, they came, they came to Jerusalem at the end of nine months and twenty days. Then Joab. Then Joab gave the sum, gave the sum of the number of the people to the king, and there were, there were in Israel, there were in Israel eight hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand valiant men who drew the sword, who drew the sword, and the men of Judah, and the men of Judah were five hundred thousand men. First Chronicles, the twenty-first chapter, verses one through six. First Chronicles, the 21st chapter, verses 1 through 6. Now Satan stood up against Israel and moved David to number Israel. So David said to Joab and to the leaders of the people, Go number Israel from Beersheba to Dan and bring the number of them to me that I may know it. And Joab, and Joab answered, May the Lord make his people a hundred times more than they are. But my Lord the King, are they not all my Lord's servants? Why then, why then does my Lord require this thing? Why should, why should he be a cause of guilt in Israel? Nevertheless, the king's word prevailed against Joab. Therefore, therefore Joab departed and went and went throughout all Israel and came and came to Jerusalem. Then Joab then Joab gave the sum of the number of the people to David. And all Israel all Israel had one million one hundred thousand men who drew the sword. And Judah and Judah had four hundred 
and 70,000 70, men who drew the sword. But he did not, but he did not count Levi and Benjamin among them. For the king's word, for the king's word was abominable to Joab. Okay, judgment for David's sin. Judgment for David's sin. This is in 2 Samuel, the 24th chapter, verses 10 through 17. Judgment for David's sin. And David's heart condemned him after he had numbered the people. So David said to the Lord, I have sinned greatly in what I have done. But now I pray, O Lord, take away the iniquity of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. Now when David arose in the morning, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Gad, David Sierra, saying, Go and tell David, Thus, thus says the Lord, I offer, I offer you three things. I offer you three things. Choose one of them for yourself, that I may, that I may do it to you. So Gad... So Gad came to David, so Gad came to David and told him, and he said to him, he said to him, Shall seven shall seven years of famine come to you in your land, or or shall you flee, or you or shall you flee three months before your enemies while they pursue you? Or shall there be three days plague in your land? Now consider and see what answer I should take back to him who sent me. David said to Gad, I am in great distress. Please let us fall into the hand of the Lord, and his mercies are great. But do not let me fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent a plague upon Israel from the morning till the appointed time. From, Be from Dan to Beersheba, 70,000 men of the people died. And when the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord relented from the destruction and said to the angel who was destroying the people, It is enough. Now restrain your hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing floor of Aruna, Aruna, of Aruna the Jebusite. Then David, then David spoke to the Lord when he saw the angel who was striking the people and said, Surely I have sinned and I have done wickedly. But these sheep, what have they done? Let your hand, I pray, be against me and against my father's house. Now we're going to go into 1 Chronicles, the 21st chapter, verses 7 through 17, excuse me. And um, this is basically the same thing. It's repeating itself again. You notice in the book of Chronicles, it repeats some of the Bible over again. So... Let's read. And God was displeased with this thing. Therefore he struck Israel. So David said to God, I have sinned greatly because I have done this thing. But now I pray, take away the iniquity of your servant for I have, for I have done very foolishly. Then the Lord, then the Lord spoke to Gad, then the Lord spoke to Gad, David Sierra, saying, saying, go and tell David, go and tell David, saying, thus says the Lord, thus says the Lord, I offer you, I offer you three things, I offer you three things, choose one of them for yourself, that I may do it to you. So Gad, so Gad came to David, so Gad came to David and said to him, thus says the Lord, thus says the Lord, choose for, choose for yourself either three years of famine or three months to be defeated by your foes with the sword of your enemies overtaking you. Or else, or else for three days, the sword of the Lord, the plague in the land, with the angel of the Lord, destroying throughout all the territory of Israel. Now consider what I what answer I should take back to him who sent me. And David and David said to Gad, I am in great distress. Please let me, please let me fall into the hand of the Lord. For his mercies, for his mercies are very great, but do not, but do not let me fall into the hand of man. So the Lord, so the Lord sent a plague, the Lord sent a plague upon Israel, and seventy and seventy thousand men of Israel fell. And God and God sent an angel to Jerusalem to destroy it. As he 
as he was destroying the Lord looked the Lord looked and relented of the disaster and said to the angel and said to the angel who was destroying it is enough now restrain your hand and the angel and the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Ornan, Ornan the Jebusite then David then David lifted his eyes then David lifted his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord standing between the earth and heaven having in his having in his hand having in his hand a drawn sword stretched out stretched out over Jerusalem so David so David and the elders clothed in sackcloth fell on their faces and David said to God and David said to God was it not was it not I who commanded the people to be numbered I am the one who has sinned and done evil indeed but these sheep what have they done with your hand I pray O Lord my God be against me and my father's house, but not against your people, that they should be plagued. Now we're going into David building an altar. David builds an altar. This takes place in 2 Samuel, the 24th chapter, verses 18 through 25. David builds an altar. And Gad, and Gad came that day to David and said to him, Go up, erect an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Aruna the Jebusite. So David, according to the word of God, went up as the Lord commanded. Now Aruna looked and saw the king and his servants coming toward him. So Aruna went out and bowed before the king with his face to the ground. Then Aruna said, Why has my Lord the king come to his servant? And David said to buy the threshing floor from you to build an altar to the Lord that the plague may be withdrawn from the people. Now Aruna, now Aruna said to David, let my Lord, let my Lord the king take and offer up whatever seems good to him. Look, look here are oxen for burnt sacrifice and threshing and threshing implements and the yokes of the oxen for wood. All these, O king, Aruna has given to the king. And Aruna, and Aruna said to the king, May the Lord, may the Lord your God accept you. Then the king, then the king said to Aruna, then the king said to Aruna, No, but I will, but I will surely buy it from you for a price. Nor, nor will I offer burnt offerings to, my, to the Lord my God with that which cost me nothing. So David, so David brought the threshing floor and the oxen and the oxen for fifty shekels of silver, and David built there. And David built there an altar to the Lord, and offered, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord, so the Lord heeded the prayers for the land, and the plague was withdrawn from Israel. First Chronicles, the 21st chapter, verse 18 to the 22nd chapter, verse 1. First Chronicles, the 21st chapter, verse 18 to the 22nd chapter, verse 1. Therefore, the angel of the Lord commanded Gad to say to David that David should go, should go and erect an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Ornan, the Jebusite. So David... So David went up at the word of Gad, which he which he had spoken, which he had spoken in the name of the Lord. Now Ornan, now Ornan turned and saw the angel and his four sons, who were with him, hid themselves. But Ornan, but Ornan continued threshing wheat. So David, so David came to Ornan, and Ornan looked and saw David, and. And he went out th from the threshing floor and bowed and bowed before David with his face to the ground. Then David, then David said to Ornan, Grant me, grant me the place of this threshing floor, that I may that I may build an altar on it to the Lord. You shall grant it to me at the full price, that the plague may be withdrawn. From the people, 
but Ornan, but Ornan said to David, take it to yourself and let, and let my lord, the king, do what is good in his eyes. Look, I also give you the oxen for burnt offerings, the threshing implements for wood, and the grain for the grain, excuse me, and the wheat for the grain offering. I give it all. Then King David, then King David said to Ornan, No, but I will surely buy it for the full price. For I will, for I will not take what is yours for the Lord, for the Lord, nor offer, nor offer burnt offerings that with that which costs with that which costs me nothing. So David, so David gave Ornan, so David gave Ornan. 600 shekels, 600 shekels of gold by weight for the place. And David, and David built there, and David built there an altar to the Lord. And he, and offered, and offered burnt offerings, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And called, and called on the Lord. And he answered, and he answered him from heaven by fire on the altar, on the altar of burnt offering. So the Lord so the Lord commanded the angel and he returned, he returned his sword to his sheath. At that time, when David saw that the Lord had answered him on the threshing floor of Oranan the Jebusite, he sacrificed there. For the tabernacle, for the tabernacle of the Lord and the altar of the burnt offering, which Moses had made in the wilderness, were at that time at the high place of Gibeon. But David, but David could not go before it to acquire of the of God, for he was afraid of the sword of the angel of the Lord. Then David, then David said, This is the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of burnt offering for Israel. Okay, preparations for the temple. Preparations for the temple. First Chronicles, the twenty second chapter. Verses two through nineteen. So David, so David commanded to gather, so David commanded to gather the aliens who were who were in the land of Israel. And he appointed, and he appointed masons to cut to cut hewn stones to build to build the house of God. And David, and David prepared iron in abundance for the nails. For the nails of the doors of the gates, and for the joints, for the joints, and bronze, and bronze in abundance beyond measure, and cedar trees, and cedar trees in abundance, for the Sidonians, for the Sidonians, and those, and those from Tyre brought, brought much cedar wood, brought much cedar wood to David. Now David, now David said Solomon. Solomon, my son, is young, is young and, in, and inexperienced. And the house to be built for the Lord must be exceedingly magnificent, famous and glorious throughout all countries. I will now, I will now make preparation for it. So David made abundant preparations before his death. Then he called, then he called for his son Solomon and charged him, and charged him to build a house for the Lord God of Israel. And David said to Solomon, My son, as for me, it was in my mind to build a house to the name of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, You have shed much blood and, and have made great wars. You shall not build a house for my name, because you have shed much blood on the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to you, who shall be a man of rest, and I will give him rest from all his enemies all around. His name shall be Solomon, for I will give peace and quietness to Israel in his days. He shall build a house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, now, my son, may the Lord be with you and may you prosper and build and build the house of the Lord, your God, as he as he has said to you 
Only may the Lord give you wisdom and understanding and give you charge concerning Israel that you may that you may keep the law of the Lord your God. Then you will prosper if you take care to fulfill the statutes and judgments with which the Lord charged Moses concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Indeed, I have taken much trouble to prepare for the house of the Lord 100,000 talents of gold and 1 million talents of silver and bronze and iron beyond measure. For it is, for it is so abundant, I have, I have, prepared, I have prepared timber and stone also, and you, may, and you may add to them. Moreover, moreover, there are workmen with you in abundance, woodsmen, woodsmen and stone cutters. And all types, and all types of skillful men for every kind of work. Of gold, of gold and silver and bronze and iron, there is no limit. Arise, arise and begin working, and the Lord be with you. David also commanded all the leaders of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And he and has he not given you rest on every side? For he has given the inhabitants of the land into my hand. And the land, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Therefore arise and build the sanctuary of the Lord God to bring the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and the holy articles of God into the house that is to be built for the name of the Lord. May we receive this word with gladness, God, and let it uh, grow thereby. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's Bible reading. On uh, tonight, we might do a game of high rollers in which Rondane Howler is the champion with nineteen thousand and thirty dollars in cash and prizes. For right now, I'm gonna try to watch NASCAR the qualifying, and uh, when we come back, we will do high rollers. But for right now, this is Writing 1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, and take care, everybody. Stay blessed. Goodbye, everybody.